firefighters responding to an emergency. Today I would like to inform you about one of the most versatile pieces of equipment in the fire service found on almost every responding unit. Good morning. I'm Ron Daniello and the tool that I'm referring to is the Halligan Bar. I will provide you with some of its background and origin, the different parts of the tool, and some of their uses. Let me start by telling you about its origin. According to an article written by Peter Kurtzey, found on FirefighterNation.com, it was the brainchild of Hugh Halligan, a New York City firefighter for over 30 years. He had worked with two predecessors of the Halligan Bar, the Kelly Tool and the Claw Tool, and found that they were both heavy and cumbersome. What he wanted to come up with was a single tool that could do the job of both of the Kelly tool and the claw tool, but be lighter and uh, put less fatigue on firefighters using it. That's when he uh, came up with the Halligan bar. When the tool was originally manufactured, you would think that him being a New York City firefighter, they would be the first ones to use the tool, but you would be incorrect. Uh, actually, the Boston Fire Department was the first uh, major department to purchase the tool and put it on uh, every ladder company in, its, uh, in the city. Uh, the FDNY upper management at the time thought that uh, it was a conflict of interest and decided not to purchase it originally. Eventually, they had to go and purchase the tool as a lot of its members had decided uh, that the tool was very effective and purchased it on their own. That is uh, a little of the origin of the Halligan Ball. Now that you uh, have some of that information, let's actually uh, look at the, the Halligan Bar and uh, its parts. Here I have the Halligan Bar. <coughs> Fairly simple uh, tool made of uh, a single piece of forged metal, usually uh, titanium or stainless steel, fairly light, versus the uh, claw tool and Kelly tool that were made of steel, so it's less fatiguing on firefighters. Uh, the primary length uh, is the, like the one I have here, uh, 30 inches, fairly easy to carry in one hand, uh, but it can be purchased in lengths anywhere from 18 inches to 54 inches. The three main parts are the claw on one end. As you can see, it has a uh, kind of a bend to it or a shape to it, which can be used for prying. If you put it behind something, it can be used to pry. You have, can use the 30 inches of bar for leverage. Then on the other end of the tool, you have a thinner piece of flat metal that can also be used to uh, stick into door jams or uh, anywhere you might need to, under floorboards, etc. And then you have the spear, the tip, tapered pick, which also has a uh, slight angle to it, so it can also be used for prying. So there you have it, uh, the 30 inch Halligan bar. Three types of tips on it can be used for multiple purposes. Now that I've uh, talked to you and given you some background origin of the Halligan bar, where it came from, where it originated, uh, the parts of the tool, the three main parts of the tool, uh, let's talk about some of its uses. The claw that we showed you earlier can be used for a number of things, uh, a couple of them. Like I told you, it can be used to pry. But one uh, thing it can be used for is you can put uh, locks, uh, anything of that nature, in the, the fork, twist the fork, and break whatever you need to break there. Uh, it can also get under underneath uh, floorboards. And then uh, another place that it's used often is during car fires. Uh, in the engine compartment, you can uh, get this up underneath the hood and help shear off that and uh, pop the hood so we can gain access 
to the engine compartment. The blade, the smaller, thinner blade on the other end, can be used uh, to get into tight materials. As you can see, it has a very sharp uh, end, which you can uh, use to get into anything. It also has a flat back. So if, it's, uh, if you need to, you can also use a sledgehammer or a, a flat-headed axe to hit the opposite side to uh, force the flat end into uh, wherever you need it to go into. Then you have the awl, A-W-L, or the tapered pick side, which uh, can be swung uh, to break glass. Uh, one of the uses to be used for when you're on a roof, because of its sharp pick, you can force it into the roof, and then you can use the flat side as a footrest to uh, help you uh, stabilize yourself on a roof. So, now that I've talked to you about the parts, the uses, and some of the origin, uh, let's recap uh, what we've talked about today. Uh, I've told you that it's one of the most versatile tools in the fire service. Um, very simple, uh, not very expensive, but very uh, versatile and useful uh, on the fire ground. I've shown you and explain to you the three main parts of the tool and talk about some of its uses.